So in this video, I'm going to talk about operations on rational numbers. So let's have first addition on rational numbers. So let's say, for example, we have negative one fourth plus one half. So basically, rational numbers are, are the same as fractions. All the fractions are specifically used for rational numbers which are positive, but um, they are just uh, similar or equal. So negative one fourth plus one half, uh, we're going to uh, do cross multiply and we're going to multiply also the denominators. So it will appear right, like this. So two times negative one half is negative two. 4 times 1 is 4, and at the denominator, 4 times 2 is 8. So we just do cross multiplication, and we multiply also the denominator to get the product uh, denominator, which is 8. And then we uh, combine the numerators, negative 2 plus 4, that is uh, 2. So copy the denominator. So 2 eighths, or we reduce it, divided by 2, both uh, top and the bottom. It's uh, one fourth. So the bottom line here is you need to know first, or you need to master how to uh, do the operations on integers. Because if you don't master that, then it's hard for you to continue with the operations on rational numbers. Now we're still here in addition on rational numbers, and I'm, I want to show this. What if it's like this? Uh, a rational number and another another rational number but it's in a mixed form so what you need to do first is to uh, change the mixed form into improper fraction because you cannot do anything with that unless you change it to Im to improper so you have to also learn how to convert fractions to improper fractions to uh, master how to do to operate the do the operations on rational numbers. So uh, it's now uh, it becomes one third plus negative three halves. So we're gonna do the same thing like what we ha we did in the previous example. So we're going to do cross multiplication, and so it becomes two times one is two, three times negative three is negative nine, and three times two at the bottom is six. So we have uh, this, and then we combine the numerators. Two plus negative nine is negative 7 and then copy the denominator so it's a it's actually an improper fraction so we basically change the improper fraction answers into mixed form so you convert this it becomes a negative 1 and 1 sixth so again we're still in addition rational numbers because i want to show another kind of problem like this two-thirds plus negative five so it's actually rational numbers including the integer negative 5 that's because integers uh, are also rational numbers okay so we are going to how are we going to add this so we need to transform it first into this way so the negative 5 will be written as rewritten as negative 5 over 1 it's the same so any whole number or integer if you put neg uh, over 1 on that it's exactly the same and then we're going to do cross multiplication. So um, two times one is two, three times negative five is negative 15. And then at the bottom, three times one is three. So a denominator is three. And then we combine the numerators, two plus negative 15 is negative 13. And then copy the denominator. And then we are going to convert this into mixed form which is actually equal to negative four and one thirds. All right, so I'm done showing the different scenario or, or um, nature of rational numbers. Now I'm going to show the other operations, which is um, having similar procedure with the, the addition. And so I will just give some uh, one example for each of these operations because anyway I have shown the different kinds of rational numbers in the addition and their processes are just uh, similar. So for negative five halves minus positive one third, so we'll do cross multiplication. 
So this cross, cross multiplication is actually just a shortcut of doing the rational numbers because basically when you uh, solve addition or any fractions you uh, do a list common denominator but it will take long and so I'm teaching this as uh, personally I'm doing this because it's shorter. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, 2 times uh, 1 is 2, and then copy the operation minus. And then at the bottom, 2 times 3 is 6, so that's why our denominator is 6. So negative 15 minus 2, it will give us negative 17, copy the denominator 6. And then convert this into mixed form, it will be negative 2 and 5 sixths. So that's how we subtract rational numbers. So next is we're going to do multiplication and rational numbers, which is very simple. So for example, we have this rational numbers, negative 3 tenths uh, times 8 ninths. So we just simply multiply directly numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So uh, 3 times 8 is 24, 10 times 9 is 90. And take note, uh, we follow the same uh, rule for multiplication. If it's different signs, the result will be... Uh, negative so that's why it's negative 24 over 90 then we reduce it so we can uh, we see that they are both divisible by 3 but actually they're both divisible by 6 but I will just chunk it in this way um, 24 divided by 3 is 8 and 90 divided by 3 is 30 then uh, both are divisible by 2 so we will reduce it 8 divided by 3 is 4 30 divided by 2 is 15 and it cannot be reduced anymore, so it's negative 4 over 15. Now let me show you another way of solving this. You can actually do cancellation method, so just like this, 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. So we are going to divide both by 3. The top becomes 1, the bottom becomes 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Both 4, 10, and 8 are divisible by 2. So 8 becomes 4 and 10 becomes 5. So we are doing cancellation. And um, then we proceed. So let's just multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 times 3 is 15. And then since they are on different signs, negative and positive rational numbers, so the product is a negative. So negative 4 over 15. So I believe that will be shorter. So next is division and rational numbers. So let's say for example we have this, 3 negative 3 tenths divided by 8 ninths. So what we're going to do is to just um, change the operation to times and then get the reciprocal of um, the multiplicand or the, the rational number at the right. So we're going to uh, switch it from top to bottom. So from 8 ninths it becomes 9 eighths which is what we call the reciprocal of 8 ninths. And then we are going to multiply directly, same procedure as multiplication. So 3 times 9 is 27, eight, uh, 10 times 8 is 80. And then I don't think we can reduce it. So it's the final answer, negative 27 over 80. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.